Sup guys, welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be doing our automatic weapon series and in this episode that I said in the last one I'm going to basically set up a way so we can basically uh, pick up a weapon and then we're going to have another one in the level and when we, when we pick up the second weapon we're just going to swap them up so we're going to pick up the new one and drop the one that we had in our end. So let's see how we can do that. First of all, let's just open our master weapon because we're going to need to do a couple of stuff for here. So let's just drag everything um, except our cast to first person character and let's give us a little bit of space to work with. And first of all, let's just get our equipped weapon. So let's check, well, do we have a current equipped weapon when we try to pick up another one? We're going to do that by checking if this is valid. And if this is not valid, we're going to go directly into pick up the weapon. So let's just add this down here. Okay. But if it is valid and we currently have a weapon, we're going to pick up our equipped weapon. We're going to uh, get the details. Let's break them. And I'm just going to get its class. So from the class, I'm going to drag and spawn an actor from, cla uh, from class. What I want to do here is basically, if we have an equipped weapon, I want to spawn an instance of it so we can drop it, and then we'll destroy the one that we have in our end. So it will basically uh, look like that we have dropped the weapon, but we're actually creating a new instance of it, and uh, just dropping that into the ground. So let's see, uh, let's drag from this valid into the execution pin. The spawn transform, well, we're going to need to think of that. Let's actually drop this uh, because remember that we collide it, uh, we collide with it on overlap, so we cannot really drop this on the feet of the player. So let's go ahead and go. Let's go into the first person example map. Let's open up our first person character. Let's go into the viewport, add a component. I'm gonna add a component of the type arrow, and I'm gonna call this drop lock. So this is going to go for drop location. Let's just drop the, this arrow where you want the weapon to be. I'm just going to drop this to the feet of the player. So it's basically just do it like this. Boom. So we're going to drop it back here of on the off the player. Let's just compile and save this. So make the arrow be at the like at the bottom of the capsule component and a bit backwards and then let's go over here and go from the first person character and get the drop lock let's go to the bottom get the arrow and then we just get the transform get the whole transform and let's just connect this up into the spawn transform the collision let's make it uh, try to adjust location but always spawn and then after we do this, uh, we are going to get from the equipped weapon and we are going to destroy the actor. And then after we destroy that actor, we are going to um, go drag from the first person character and set the equipped weapon. And we're going to basically leave it uh, to set to nothing. So basically we're going to clear this variable. And then we're going to connect this back into uh, the other logic that we already had for picking up the weapon. So what we're doing here is basically, we're basically spawning an instance of the weapon that we're going to drop. Put it in the ground, then destroy the one that we have equipped in our ends. And then set the variable uh, that holds inf all the information for the equipped weapon to nothing. And then we're going to uh, basically set it up again to the weapon that we want to pick up. So I hope that's clear. Let's compile and save, see if this works. But before that, we're going to need to create a new weapon because we only have one right now. So let's go into our master weapon, right click, create child blueprint. I'm going to call this semi-auto rifle. Let's double click that open. And first of all, I want to make sure that we have a weapon mesh. I'm going to use the same for the gun but i'm just gonna add it some random material over here so i'm gonna make that a rock slate whatever now i'm gonna press the class defaults because we need to set information over here so let's just uh, go into the details and expand this the name i'm just gonna give it something like m16 doesn't matter 
is automatic, gonna leave it checked off so it is semi-auto. Fire rate doesn't matter because it's semi-auto. The magazine size, I'm gonna put it to 10. The socket, I'm gonna use the same one that we used for this weapon because the mesh and the animations are going to be the same. So let me just double click automatic rifle and get the socket that we have over here in the details panel. And just paste that in over here. The animations here, I'm going to just switch them up. It's not gonna make any sense but I just want you to see um, that animation are actually changing with the weapon. So yeah, this is gonna be a little bit weird, but uh, you know, I'm just gonna do this, it's fine. Reload is going to be a run sequence. So I just, it doesn't make any sense, but I switched up the animations so you can actually see them changing with the weapon. You can see the new skin of the weapon, it's this material. The class, we're gonna need to make it of itself, so it's a semi-auto rifle. The current bullets is gonna be 10, the magazine size is going to be 10 because we already set that up over here. And I'm going to just add 30 bullets to uh, of our max ammo, or our total ammo. And then I'm just going to go ahead and drag and drop uh, our new rifle. I'm just going to rotate it over here. And boom. Now if I play, I'm going to go ahead and pick up this weapon. You can see that we can fire it fully automatic, reload it everything will stay as we had before. Now I'm going to pick up this new weapon. Boom, you can see we have our drop weapon over here. Now you can see that the animations are all changed up to what we set up. So the walking is the jump loop, the the, uh, the run is going to be the idle, etc. The reload is going to be the run. So, you know, you can see that the animation are changing. And now you can go ahead and pick up this one up. Everything, uh, the animation will change and that one will drop. And we can keep doing this. So, and it's semi-auto and then ammunition works and stuff. And boom. So, I think that's going to be everything. That's what I wanted to show you to do. Uh, I don't really know what to do uh, for this series anymore. Uh, maybe, uh, I don't know, add different types of ammunition or something like that. I don't know. Uh, maybe that will be cool. Like I have um, a 9mm and 10.52 or whatever it is. So, when we pick up a class of weapon that uses one type of ammo, we're going to see how much ammo we got uh, stored of that type of ammo, and we're only going to use that, and we're going to have our own type of ammo for um, each gun. So that will maybe a cool video for this series, but I'm going to leave it like this for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and learned anything. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, leave them in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.